Hey everybody, it's great to have you with us here on the WB Mason Post Game. Bob Lorenz, John Flaherty, and Jack Curry with you. Middle game of this three-game series in Toronto when the Yanks fall to the Blue Jays six to five, and in a time of year where inning by inning you're looking for momentum changes and an edge and something that'll just get you over the top. Maybe it's a little magic. The Blue Jays found that in Bo Bichette tonight. Yeah, there, there's a lot to talk about, and you can talk about the Yankees fighting back. You can talk about Bo Bichette and his couple of home runs. A home run off the of homes had proved to be the difference. But I go back to the beginning of this game and our pregame show. We said that Garrett Cole, you have to win the games that he starts. He's got to be an ace. And when you're down 4 nothing after three innings, you're down 2 nothing after two batters in this game. And I can't quite figure out Garrett Cole tonight. I mean, he was challenging the Blue Jays with his fastball. We always praise him him for making adjustments during the game. I don't know what he was thinking, Jack. He, he, it took him three or four innings to go to the changeup a little bit more and off speed. He was getting beat up with the fastball. And that comes on the heels of Bob bringing this up in the pregame where the Blue Jays had talked about a potential approach and saying he throws pitches in the zone. We've seen him four times this year. If he's in the zone tonight, we'll be able to do some damage. He was in the zone. The first six hits he gave up in this game all on fastballs. Some of those first pitch fastballs as the Blue Jays aggressively hunted his pitches. 13 batters into the game for the Blue Jays. They're already up four to nothing. The Yankees had a steep hill to climb. They did climb back, but another mistake in this game, that gaff in left field. Joey Gallo's got to make that play. You can't give the team that you're chasing an extra base runner that turned into an extra run, and the Yankees end up losing this game by one run. Very frustrating. Their lead in the wild card now down to one game as long as the Red Sox hang on and two games to the Blue Jays.